So now we can compare what we thought should happen at that capacity level. And you might be saying, hey, there's probably some estimates here. And of course, when we, when we talk about an hourly rate uh, for direct labor, we're, we're going to probably have to make some estimates in order to come up with that hourly rate. But uh, it is more useful. We're trying to come up with something that's going to be useful enough for, in order for us to make decisions based on it. And so you'll see that this is what we budgeted for at the standard cost. This is what actually happened. So we're below costs here, which is a good thing. So we have a favorable difference when we adjust our calculations to the actual production level at the 90%. So we have the difference here. If we subtract those two out, uh, 136, 250, it's actually a favorable difference. So we have a favorable difference if we were subtracting these two numbers out. But that's not really the whole story. We can't really just say, ah, good job on the labor. I mean, we could. But we might want to get some more specific. We might want to say, hey, is it, is, are we, I have a favorable difference due to the hours being uh, better or worse than we expected. In this case, of course, it's a slightly better. So we had a 0 0.25, 25 cents less per hour than what actually happened. Or is it, are we more efficient with the hours we used? In this case, we budgeted 270 and we actually had 265. So in both of those areas, we were actually better off here and that's what we want to break down to we want to be able to measure more precisely and measure exactly where we need to uh, make improvements on or make adjustments to so we're going to break this down a bit further and we're going to have the 